Listen, bro. Women in 2024 are haters, bro. I mean, it's always something to count you up or to say you don't qualify as a man. Look, bro. Quick, quick story time. So, as we're going through the grind, as we're trying to get more for ourselves, look, bro, I ended up doing it. I ended up doing what I said I was going to do, accomplishing what I said I was going to accomplish. I got myself a place, and I got myself a nice SUV type thing. You know what I'm saying? At 19, as a young man, as a man, taking on the lessons, and the beauty in this journey is a blessing, bro. So, you know what I mean? I share what I share to Facebook. Meanwhile, old shorty I used to mess with, you know what I'm saying, phone intercourse, good time, talking over the phone, living in a different area from me and things like that. Seeing each other evolve, grow up, do more for, you know, for ourselves and things like that. Shorty, when I post what I, what I was doing in my life, I posted my home, the home I'm in, Shorty unfollow me, you know what I'm saying? Now look though, it's a complete understanding. See, sometimes people so deep invested into their situation and your situation, they get to comparing each other. And you know what I mean? Once you start doing well for yourself as a man, a woman become intimidated by you. You know what I'm saying? You go into the gym, you in shape, women get intimidated, you know what I'm saying? Cause they finally have to step up to the plate. They finally have to understand that you are the prize. Once you understand you are the prize as a man and you are a prize as a person, as a being just existing. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, bro, a lot of times people and women came around in my life and just try to say something that knocked me off my journey, knocked me off my purpose of what I wanted to do and what I said I was going to do and I did it. You know what I'm saying? They got shocked. They was like, oh, he actually doing that shit. He actually running it up. He actually doing more for himself. You know what I'm saying? Because I did the action. I understand that not everybody can handle once you actually become the guy who does it, actually become the guy who does the work. Listen, bro, I just did over 300 push-ups. I'm about to do more, bro, because I said, you know what, bro? Men aren't approaching women anymore. You know what I'm saying? We not just focus on women anymore because it's like the more we just put our all into the woman, put our all into just one, in and out, in and out, in and out. It's not cool when she reject this over and over again or she try to make a fool out of us just being a man approaching a woman that caught her eye. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how 2024 is. They they play blind. They play blind to, you know, who you are as a man until it just shows and everybody sees it. And then even when she sees it, she becomes intimidated by it. But the average man can't walk up to a woman and get her number without being viewed as a creep. Let's let's hope that he's attractive, that, you know what I mean, you walk with some type of confidence that that's holding your attraction up. See, then you got a chance. Then you're not a creep. Then you're not one to be a weirdo. You know what I'm saying? But in 2024, it's a constant struggle for men dealing with women on the marketplace. It's a constant struggle for women to find the man that they desire as far as in keep them having fireworks at night, water everywhere. You know what I'm saying? And giving them the life they want. They can't really find that yet, have a whole selection of options. Way less than the average man. I mean, way more than the average man. The average man has less. The average man can't even find a day. The average man can't even go in and out, so he uses his hand every night. You know what I'm saying? But these are the cold truths they don't talk about that you go through as a man. Or, or he never, he never gets a chance, bro, because he doesn't understand he has to take the chance on himself. He has to believe in himself that he is going to conquer everything. You know what I'm saying? You as a person, as an individual, it's a lot of opportunity out there, man. You just gotta get after it. You just gotta go, man. Cause once you go, 
It's like life already know to give you results, hand it over. Just like she gonna be handing over that fatty back there once you're doing what you gotta do in that life. You know what I'm saying? Once you get out in reality and actually get out to the marketplace, actually get on the floor and get to doing some push-ups. But you see, some men won't understand. Some men won't understand that yet the, the day and age we in, it's actually a lot of opportunity. It's actually easy to break the loop. But yet so hard when you choose to be delusional, yet not delusional about your success. That's what, what's going to create your success. You're delusional into the things that is to distract you and keep your mind stimulated in stagnancy, being stagnant, you know what I mean? Not being able to actually take the woman home to your place because you don't have a place. You are in this state of just relying on others. You haven't developed the trait of being able to rely on yourself. See, this is the truth of being a man. We, we don't get told this. Yes, you have to rely on yourself. Yes, no one owe you anything. Yes, if you have to rely on somebody else for your living, you aren't hitting the marketplace as far as dating world until you have your own as a man game. That's just facts. You're not seeing her have trouble swallowing your pole stick and, and, and swallowing the juices that come out until you get your own as a man. You know what I'm saying? You just have to put the desires into having your own, and then that is when the desires of letting the beast out on her is just going to be fulfilled. But we are in 2020, 2024. You know what I'm saying? 2020, 2024. We're in 2024. All right? So you got to adapt, man, because every day is something new, and... The standards are getting higher, so how, how much you raise your standards? Because I say it's some bullshit. I say it's some shit where, look, man, strong people build strong, a strong world, and men are strong. So, you know, let's use our strength. Let's use what we was here to do, our purpose, you know what I mean? Our craft, what, what you good at, nigga? Get to it, homie. Get to shooting the shots every day because a shot not taken is a shot that never has an opportunity to go in. So make sure you shooting your shots in this world. Yes, okay, 2024, cool. That shorty, you know, playing games on some weird shit. We still gonna talk to the cutie, we still gonna talk to the baddie. Once we see she on that weird shit though, we good, you know what I mean? We good. But I mean, dudes is keeping it simple, bro. Dudes don't wanna be embarrassed. Dudes are being tired of rejected. Dudes are tired of not being able to go in and out, in and out, in and out without going through that bullshit. So, we are adapting, and we must adapt because the, the in and out, in and out, in and out is there. You know what I'm saying? The one that, that's gonna cooperate with us and be on our side is there. The one that's just ready to take the vibe and enjoy our time together, they there. But it's all after you put the work in because the thing with the women, the thing with life and how people view you, it's not until the results come in. It's not until, you know, you put on this sense of journey of work until the results just come in and everybody just shows love and says, yo, you was a wonderful person. Well, I knew you all along. Mud, muddy, hey, Muddy. What's good, twin? But Muddy and twin wasn't around when you was actually in the mud and in the struggle. So understand that, bro. You just got to play the game of being in 2024, bro. It's not the old days no more. It's not that, oh, yeah, hey, you find your wife in high school or you find your wife right outside of, right outside of uh, school and things like that. Honestly, I think if it was like that, bro, men in 2024, we would adapt and, you know, be in a situation where we would have our woman. You know what I mean? We probably, we might still cheat. You know what I mean? Look, it be like that sometimes, bro. But we will have a real woman that is around us. A real woman that is for us. You know what I'm saying? Just like we for her. You know what I'm saying? Because that's our woman. But nowadays, you can't really say, yo, that's your woman, bro. Because she done sucked him, 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 him. And she told Facebook that she is wet right now. And that she wants her fantasies fulfilled. To the whole Facebook, which has like thousands of people on there. Oh, and she's on TikTok uh, fangirling out over this guy over here. And um, yeah, so it's just, she's all over on the marketplace. She's not technically ours. And then 
yet you still have that old soul to you so you get into the relationship and then you start thinking she yours and then she's playing your goofy ass and then it's a nigga on the side digging and twisting pain in her face bro and yeah i know that's dark bro that's some dark stuff but that's the real bro i mean bro like it's not an innocent world man you realize once you graduate once you out of high school once you're doing you man it's not innocent man you got to really be a man in your situation you got to be the one to solve your situation you got to be the one to push through your situations bro because it's just gonna be you bro and you cannot rely on the feeling of wanting to be validated by getting your pogo sticks up all the time bro because life has to you know what i'm saying to do a, do its work for you man life has to obey by you but you have life obeyed by you by you controlling your actions, obeying your order, and making your order to make life your bitch, okay? And once we do that, we're off to the races. Yet not to the race, to the marathon, because it's a marathon, brother. And then you realize women come and go without, you know, any any BS through the marathon because you elevate and you getting farther in your journey. You getting farther, you know more wisdom, you know the way, you know how to secure yourself to make sure you ain't tripping on this rock over here and this curve over here because you are hurtling off the things you know because it's just repetition now. You put in the work, you put in the work, you put in the work. Now she twerking on the pole stick, now she twerking on the pole stick because we are putting in the work. We are going harder. Finances are going through the roof because bro, you stick through the repetition. You say, okay, it's 2024, and it's only gonna get, you know, more into the further along in the timeline, okay, if you're watching this later in the years. But I have to focus on now. What can I do to make my marathon better? Okay, now I'm stronger, so now I can yank her, 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 her up and get to digging and twisting in this position and not get tired because I done the endurance. I done the working on being able to run longer in my life. Get what I'm saying? Because, bro, results is waiting on you, bro. You know what I'm saying? The shorty is waiting on you, bro. But she's waiting for you to be unresistible. She's waiting on you to have your come up. She's waiting on you to say no to her. She's waiting on you to say, you know, actually, I don't want to hang up. She's waiting for you to say, okay, well, no, nah, I got to put this first because this is a priority in mine. As soon as you stop putting her first, bro, your whole life changed. You could put her as, you know what I mean, something, somebody in, something as, you know, your lover, you know what I'm saying? And she's that one for you. But make sure she's that lover for you. Make sure she's not just the one for the moment and for the chapter for you. I'm saying because it's times you put women over your purpose that you miss your whole purpose, you miss your whole destiny, and why you here for real. So just stay focused, you know what I mean. And the vibes are all around. The vibes is you enjoying your present moment. So when the shorty come around, she enjoying the vibe as well because you intact in the moment. You intact in just enjoying what's happening in the moment. That's why you able to go off what she's saying a little easier because you, you you know how to conversate and you in the moment. Okay, boom. You're not staring at them, them big breasts to see. Just the big breasts. Just hood jiggawats going crazy in your face while she's talking because she got her cleavage out because it's 2024. She going to have those out. And then she got the leggings on, so the whole curve showing. And then the, in the front, you know how it be. It be showing, too. And we gonna stay focused and just have a conversation with her because we in the present moment. We may look at it. We may seduce her, too. You know what I'm saying? That's why you come in shape. That's why you have your, have your shoulders hanging. You know what I'm saying? Because we seduce, too. You know what I'm saying? Look her in her eyes, man. You know what I'm saying? If you go out bad, you think she like you, you think she going, and you, you texting her, you call her, yo, let's link in 2024. You want to just let it be, man, because look, man, if she goes you, man, cool, on to the next. Sun going to come back up, and it's going to be another one coming right up. So, <laughs> look, bro, and what I mean by another one coming up, another shorty, another woman coming right up right back up because you are putting in the work in your life you are the attraction you are the one to not care when one isn't going for you on to the next because you know your worth i'm saying it's either we're gonna know the worth of ourselves we're gonna understand the ground we're going through we're gonna understand what state of mind we're going through so we can keep it out of balance keep things out of balance in this life 
and, and attract things in his life, that's when it's gonna happen, man. But look, man, I got more work to do, man. <sighs> right when the right when the day ending, I say I ain't getting tired, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. I'ma holler at y'all another one, man.